to avoid take away TD's Thor 4 error, Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool 3 director was ready for a significant risk that destroyed The Dark Knight Rises. The addition of Deadpool to the Marvel Cinematic Universe may prove to be a game-changer for Marvel Studios in a number of ways. The excitement for Deadpool 3 has skyrocketed in response to pictures of Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman filming. However, fans are now wondering how director Sean Levy will fit the logic of Wolverine rising from the dead and joining Wade Wilson's hands without making the plot seem forced. However, similar to The Dark Knight Rises, these images have also raised concerns that leaked set shots will reveal plot details about the film. Pictures and video from the Christopher Nolan-directed film set were leaked online before its release, which worried Warner Bros. and other Hollywood companies. Marvel Studios has done a remarkable job throughout the years of keeping the specifics of their projects a secret. But as they prepare to bring Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool franchise, previously owned by Fox, under the MCU's wing, they must also prepare for a few alterations that could damage their generally tight control over leaks. Nowadays, Marvel frequently chooses to film on sets equipped with green screens whenever they can. While this has greatly simplified the process of preventing leaks, it has occasionally diminished moviegoers' enjoyment because green screens can't always accurately capture the atmosphere of the vast locales. One of the many films that could have been better without the limitations of constrained physical space is Love and Thunder. Even Christian Bale, who played Gore the God Butcher in the film, acknowledged that he didn't find using a green screen to film on very interesting or enlightening. It was my first time doing that. I mean, monotony is the definition of it. Even if it means playing into the fire of leaks, Sean Levy is skeptical of the use of green screens and won't make the same mistake in Deadpool 3 as he did in Thor 4. There is no disputing the possibility of certain movies being spoiled by leaked set photos and footage. However, many unyielding directors would prefer to take that chance than alter their project's original concept. There's a significant likelihood that Nolan would disagree with the decision to film The Dark Knight Rises using green screen rather than actual locations for the same leaked scenes. You should know everything because of how far he went to recreate the nuclear explosion in Oppenheimer in order to avoid using computer graphics. Levy is similarly prepared to take the chance that set images will end out online rather than altering his look. It upsets me because photographs have leaked online, he said, according to Total Film magazine. However, this is the cost we incur for committing to actual places. Even though Deadpool is now a part of the MCU, I decided very early in the production process that I didn't want another Marvel film to be shot on a green screen stage with digital set extensions. Even though Marvel now owns Merc with a mouth, Levy has always wanted to honor the Fox tradition. This includes the manner he wants to film and deliver the plot of the third movie of the franchise.